All right then, so when we're using materialized CSS, it gives us a way to add depth and shadows to the different elements that we create on a page. And you probably saw this briefly when we created buttons because those had a little drop shadow applied to it and we can control that drop shadow. So we do this very simply just by using one class and then controlling the strength of that class, so to speak. So as you can see right now, I've got these elements laid out on a grid on the page. And all these are, are divs right here with a class of call and S2 inside a row of here. And these empty divs inside here, these are the things that are being styled blue as boxes inside each one of those columns. And we can see that right here. We give it a background of light blue and a height of 120 pixels. All right, so what I'd like to do is give each one of these a different depth on the page so it comes out um, varying amounts. So the way we give something depth in Materialize is to use the Z-depth class. So this first one here, I don't want to give any depth, but the second one, I want to give just a little bit of depth. So I can say Z hyphen depth hyphen one. That's the lowest strength depth. It's gonna bring it out just a little bit. And if I save it and preview now, we can see this one right here comes out just a little bit. I might have to zoom in for you to see that in fact, but you can see that small shadow right here, okay? Okay then, so if we move on, I'm gonna give the next one a Z hyphen depth hyphen three or rather two, let's not skip that out and save it. And we can see a slightly bigger depth now coming away from the page. Um, you probably get the idea here, but let's just fill them all in and then preview them. So Z depth hyphen three, then we'll do Z depth hyphen four, and then finally Z hyphen depth hyphen five. So if we save that now, we can see as we go further to the right, it looks like it's getting further away from the screen. Now it goes up to five, but really I don't honestly like four and five. I like these three here because I think it looks more natural. When we get over here, the shadow starts to me to look a little unnatural and I'm not honestly keen on these two over here. I like to use these three over here, mainly these two to be honest. Okay, but there we go. That's how we use them if you do want to use them. Z hyphen depth, then the strength of the depth on the element that you want to give a bit of depth to.